Welcome back. In this episode, we are diving into the most important step of building your robotics educational business, creating the educational material. This is where the magic happens. Your video tutorials will teach the subject you have chosen and form the foundation of the course that you will sell. You probably have seen how those courses work. Each lesson of the course is a video where the teacher shares his screen showing the slides, the code, and the simulations of his course. On one side, the face of the teacher may appear while delivering the lesson. You need to create those videos and all its related material. This video, this one, teaches you how to do it. I will be recommending you different tools, websites, and applications. I have to indicate that we have no relation or get any compensation from all those recommended things, except for the rush jacks that we are the construct we are the creators of. Then let's start, let's break this process down, and let's go step by step. The first thing you need to do is to decide the main subject of your brand. For example, let's say you choose to teach Ross, but here is the catch. Tons of people are already teaching this. So how do you stand out? You need to differentiate yourself and add your unique touch. Maybe you teach Ross by based uh, on ROS for Raspberry robots, or ROS for computer scientists, or even ROS through fun hands-on robotic projects. Your lessons must be different from all those other teachers there delivering the same material. You need to differentiate yourself. To identify how to differentiate from others, ask yourself, why should students pick your course over the others? Answering this question is the key to success. Then. Pick a name that represents your niche or branch. For example, if you are teaching ROS for Raspberry-based robots, you might go for Raspberry ROSbots. Or if you decide to go for hands-on projects, you may go with Robotics Funny Projects. Make it memorable and relevant. For instance, I'm going to create a business about how to create robotics educational business. I will teach people how they can build their own single-person educational empire while teaching robotics. So my business is going to be called Build Your Educational Empire. Once decided the brand name, we will use it when creating the course material. Once your subject and differentiation are clear, plan the structure of your course. Create an index outlining the units of your course. Then write a short summary for each unit. Based on that, decide exactly what you are going to teach to your students. I recommend writing down everything on a text document. Optionally, if you want to move fast, you can jump straight to do the next point, but only if you have it very clear in your mind. Design some slides for each lesson to guide your teaching. This should be done based on the document that you just wrote. Now, it is time to create a code that demonstrates the lessons. Simulations and real robot demos work great here. Go and create that code and simulations or real robot demos. You will also need a way to share the code with your students. Let's look at your options for doing this here. First, you have the Git repository. That's easy to share, but requires the students to set up dependencies themselves in their computers in order to make your code work. Also. It doesn't work if the student doesn't have the same operating system as you have. Maybe they are using Windows or Mac instead of Linux. Okay, the second option is to use Docker containers. That simplifies the setup, but may not work seamlessly on all operating systems and requires extra knowledge of the student. Then the third option is to use the ROSJECT. The ROSJECT is something that we have created at the Construct. They are web-based solution where students can reproduce your work effortlessly. It's a system independent and even allows students to run simulations without extra installations because the ROSJECT provides a full ROS environment on the web. But once you create a ROSJECT for your students, you can share it with them with a simple link and they will get an exact copy of all your project, including the code, the simulation, and documentation. And it is 100% ensured that they will reproduce your results in the exact way, even on an iPad. For most robotics educators, the projects are the easiest and most student-friendly option. 
They are also free for your students and also for creators if they, as long as the projects are not private. So you can learn how to create and distribute the project and for that check this tutorial here or the link included in the video description. It is really very, very easy. This is where everything comes together. You will need to record first your screen, showing the slides, the terminal or simulations, depending on what you need for the teaching. And second is optional, you can record your face so students can connect with you as a teacher. If you are camera shy, don't worry. Many successful educators keep appearing on the video. But if you are comfortable, then it adds a personal touch. Then a pro tip is to use a good microphone because poor audio can ruin even the best video. So my recommendation is that you avoid using your computer's built-in mic. Any simple mic connected to your computer will do even better. Then record your screen using any of the following programs that you can see here on the side, uh, here. For Linux, Windows, and Mac. Then for recording yourself, you can use your phone on a tripod. You can have more complex setups, but uh, my recommendation is that you can try those setups later once you have at least one course published. Editing consists of mixing the video recordings into lessons. Create a single video for each lesson by mixing the screen recording and your face recording related to that lesson. Uh, also add a title at the beginning of the unit of the video and then you are done. That's it, you have a video lesson. Repeat the process for each lesson and then you have a course. You can use one of the following tools to edit the videos. You don't need fancy transitions or effects in your videos. Keep it simple and focus on clarity of your teachings. And that is all. If you follow these steps, you should have now. One, the name of your academy. Second, the subject your academy is going to be known about. And third, a set of video lessons for your first robotics course. In the next episode, we'll dive into how to deliver your content to reach your audience. Let's build your robotics educational empire. And by the way, I am Ricardo Tellez, the CEO of the Construct Robotics Institute, the biggest online academy teaching robotics and ROS of the world. So I know something about this subject.